Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to my personal top 10 favourite minigames in my Funland. I'm going to be basing this list on how fun they are to play, how good they look, and how memorable the videos building and playing them were, so let's get started! My 10th favourite minigame is Whale of a Time, and this game would have probably ended up higher, but it sadly no longer works properly since a recent update, but the game involves you being launched out of the blowhole of an orca and then trying to land in different colour squares. And flying up to the top of my world and frantically guiding yourself down is really exciting, and then when someone dies from missing their target is absolutely hilarious. I also think that the orca theme matches the gameplay perfectly. My ninth favourite minigame is Tool Trade. Despite being one of my slowest paced games, it's probably the one that requires the most thought. It's basically a simple card game made inside of Minecraft. It's now even better than when I built it in my videos because I added two more item frames that allows for more trades. And then when we had the, the tournament, we had some really close games and a very funny moment when I accidentally cheated. My eighth favourite minigame is Flop. I made Flop at a time when I was still learning how redstone worked in Minecraft, and the game's all about dodging extending pistons while trying to accurately fling your fishing rod to knock the other player down. It's a game that anyone can understand after only playing for a few seconds, but it takes a lot of time to master. It's non-stop Flop action! My seventh favourite minigame is Castle Crumble. Castle Crumble is another game that's all about strategy and just a little bit of luck. Both players build a sandcastle and hide a coloured piece of wool somewhere inside. They then take turns trying to track down the other person's block while also defending their own. There are so many different options for how you could build your castle and attack the other players, meaning that it should never get dull or repetitive. The sandcastle theme also fits the gameplay really well. My sixth favourite minigame is Bouncy Boats. Bouncy Boats is one of the oldest minigames in my Funland, and the one that requires the most teamwork. Players need to work together to get from one side of the river by allowing them to jump off each other's boats. It's mainly about parkour, but then turns to dodgems once the boats get close together. There are few things more satisfying than jumping off an opponent's boat and ending up winning the round. You are also treated to the sight of your frog poking out its tongue and the other frog crying at the end of the game. What more could you want? My fifth favourite minigame is Fashion Sense. This is one of my most challenging games. Players take it in turns trying to remember two outfits that quickly slide past a doorway, and then try dressing armour stands with the same outfits. It sounds easy, but trust me, it's not. I'm really proud of the redstone and just how easy the game is to set up and play. It's also just as fun to play by yourself. My fourth favourite minigame is Broth Brawl. Mini games don't get much simpler than Broth Brawl. All players jump into a giant cooking pot and try and knock each other off huge vegetables and into the water. Despite the simplicity, Broth Brawl is always intense and hilarious rounds come frequently. It is just as fun playing with two players as it is with eight. It's one of my most striking mini games to look at and one we always keep going back to. My third favourite mini game is Sharky Shark. Sharky Shark is a game that's all about hooking a minecart or shark onto your boat. The fun in Sharky Shark is all about the back and forth gameplay that happens all the time. With two equally skilled players, rounds can last a surprisingly long time and they're full of comebacks and moments where it looks like someone is definitely going to win. The mini boats in Wavy Sea also help make it one of my best looking mini games in my Funland. My second favourite mini game is Flower Power. Flower Power is my only PvP battle mini game in my entire Funland. It is all about trying to collect the other team's flowers and placing them on top of your plant pot. The big twist is that you're also allowed to pick up your own flowers so that your opponents need to take you out in order to win. This allows for lots of different options for strategies and the relatively small arena means that games are fun no matter how many players are in the game. Battling in Minecraft is always fun and Flower Power works as a great game mode and arena for some really exciting battles. My number one favourite minigame in my Funland is Temple Trap. I have never had more fun playing a minigame in a video than when we had our Temple Trap tournament. None of my other games come close to the tension and excitement you feel when trying to avoid the Seekers while you sneak around the temple. Every game we played was completely different, but usually ended in an exciting chase. The giant pyramid stands out in my Funland when you look at it from the outside, but it's the hiding, sneaking and running that goes on inside that makes it my favourite minigame in my Funland. 
These are just my personal top 10, but everyone has their favourites. Even if you haven't played them all, I'd still love to hear which ones you like best, so feel free to share them in the comments. Hopefully you enjoyed this top 10 video, and I'll see you later. Bye!